that is one of the biggest fucking things that I could tell you in this video right now, okay? I'm kind of all over the place with this fucking rant, but one of the biggest things I could tell you in this rant right fucking now is like just be crazy and fucking weird. Like when I'm out doing night game and shit, I'm being fucking nuts, bro. Like the other night I was like swaddling this girl pretending she was my baby because she weighed like 90 pounds, like this little like fucking Latina chick, like, just being fucking nuts. And everyone's watching and everyone's laughing and then I like proposed her. And it's like there's some, there's definitely some drunk guy standing there with a beer that's like, Oh, look at this fucking faggot. What you, look at him. Because I had like a fucking whole crowd full of people's like attention, right? And it's like, I look back again at my fucking past. And if you would have told me to do that, I'd be like, what the fuck? And then like, all these people are going to watch me? Yo, what's up, guys? I just wanted to shoot a quick little intro to the video that I just shot. I go off in this thing, okay? I go fucking off. I go off on some crazy fucking weird shit. Um, and every once in a while, if I do that, I like to then kind of like go into like a little, uh, a preface here, sort of. It's eight in the morning, um, in Atlanta, Georgia, second day boot camp. And I just woke up this morning feeling incredibly grateful for my life and incredibly grateful that I don't live inside of a vacuum of depression and anxiety anymore. And I felt compelled, like an absolute need and a burn to fucking like go out and like find a cool little background and shoot this video, even though I've been out all fucking weekend. Um, and it's just been wild madness. My energy is through the roof, and I think a big part of that comes from feeling so compelled to create this sort of content. And so, uh, you know, stick with me on this rant. I think it's really powerful. If you're somebody that lives inside of a vacuum of depression and anxiety, kind of feels like, you know, you have a hard time breaking out of your shell, um, you know, kind of feels like everything's, you know, very difficult for you, I think you're really going to enjoy this video. So thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure Yo, what's going on, guys? If I look tired, it's because I am. Well... I'm, I'm, I'm not really tired, but I'm tired in that, like, I just woke up at 8 a.m. kind of way, you know, that kind of like, hey, I got a lot of energy. I know it's going to get ramped up here soon, but it's 8 a.m. in Atlanta, Georgia on second day of boot camp. You know that kind of energy. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? I woke up this morning and I felt absolutely compelled to, to come out here and make a video explaining that you don't have to live inside of a vacuum of depression and anxiety. Um... You know, I put out a video, you know, where I was talking about this. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, it's called How to Cure Depression and Anxiety Without Medications. Uh, I put out a really, really deep video, about an hour long, something like that. But something that, you know, I always, I always get in this place in my head. I, I, I'm always thinking about, I used to just really, you know, I used to live inside of a vacuum of depression and anxiety, Okay. And it's funny because other people that are in my field, right, guys trying to teach you pickup, guys trying to, like, you know, help you to live a better life, a lot of them really enjoy selling their backstory. You know, I see this a lot, you know, guys that, you know, I was fucking suicidal. I had a gun in my mouth, and then a Tony Robbins video came on, and just as I was about to pull the trigger, I chose not to do it. I chose not to fucking kill myself because I saw the Tony Robbins video, now I can teach you, blah, blah, blah. I don't, <clears throat> I don't like to do it. I'm almost like, a sh like, it's not that I'm ashamed of like the way that I used to be. It's not that, but it was like, like I had such like a dark period of my life that I don't like revisiting that shit. And I almost like don't like talking about it in videos, but the times that I feel the most comfortable talking about it are times like right now where I woke up this morning and I was just like, what the fuck is life? Like, like what the fuck is this shit? Like, I just, like, the other day I had an insane fucking meltdown because my fucking day game course didn't launch properly, oh my god, and then I get it up launched fucking properly, everything's good, nobody, like, like, people fucking are signing up for it, it wasn't the end of the world, oh my god, you guys had to wait a couple more days for Thrive, uh, I, but I blew it up into this crazy, crazy thing where it literally like threw me into like fucking crazy depression and anxiety. And then I did the work and I got it up and I got it going. And then I had a fucking crazy weekend here in Atlanta. Like an awesome fucking weekend. Pulled Friday night, went and ran boot camp yesterday, pulled last night. Like fucking madness. Just an epic fucking weekend. And I think about all the little things that I do throughout my day-to-day -day life and when I fucking go out of town and all these things that I do that are throwing me massively out of my comfort zone, okay? Like, fucking, it's not easy 
to make videos like this, for example. It's not easy to always, to, to be like teaching pickup, like positioning yourself. Like, let me explain something to you guys. Let me, let me, let me tell you a little something real quick, okay? You, you might struggle with like going out and gaming, you know, oh, I'm kind of like nervous, you had to feel whatever. Now imagine feeling that, but like you've positioned yourself as that dude, right? Like, yo, like I fucking game, bro. I fucking pull so much so that like I got motherfuckers on my boot camp. Like I'm teaching them how to fucking pull. Like it's not easy, right? But that's what I fucking love about it. And again, like it's like fucking 830 in the morning right now. And I woke up and I was just thinking about how fucking lucky I am, how grateful I am to be living the life that I'm living. And I think back to those really dark times of my life when I was crazy fucking depressed, bro. Like, I would wake up, I was a bad alcoholic, I would wake up, it'd be like fucking 4 in the morning or something, maybe i pass out, wasted at like fucking 2.30, wake up at 4, 5, 6 a.m., and I would just start having a bad panic attack, like on the regular. This happened all the time. I would start having crazy, crazy thoughts. My fucking parents are going to die one day, what am I going to do? What am I gonna do for a fucking career? I can't believe I'm gonna <clears throat> I can't believe I'm gonna be fucking 40. I'm definitely never gonna get married. I fucking I can't even get laid. What is a woman ever going to see in me that she feels like I would potentially be a good husband or a fucking father? I wasn't fitting into the narrative that I always thought that I would fit into. You know, you have this image of yourself that you project for like how your life is going to be later down the road. And I was not fitting into that. I remember being younger and thinking like I was going to be like this like really like good looking fucking like doctor or something. And I, I was imagining myself like living in like downtown Manhattan and shit. Like when I was like a young kid. And then I'm just like this fucking wasted fat dude getting fucking blacked out and smoking cigarettes on Ohio State's campus. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? What went wrong? What's happening here? And I lived inside of a vacuum of depression and anxiety. And I know that so many of you are so fearful of breaking out of your comfort zone and so fearful of just like, like really, enjoy, it's like you're afraid to enjoy life, you know? I talk to so many guys, and I'm not just talking about, you know, I'm not even just talking about, you know, Evolution Daily audience. I'm not just talking about guys that like reach out to me for coaching or advice or anything like that. I'm talking about like motherfuckers in this world, bro. Like people that, you know, like my social circle, so to speak, right? Like just people I fucking know that are just so wrapped up in the fact that Jessica has been talking shit behind Mark's back and that if Mark knew that Steven and Jessica hooked up, there'd be a fucking fight, bro. There'd be a fucking fight, dude, and they're not going to fucking, uh, like, like, people just get so wrapped up in, like, drama and you get so wrapped up in, in, in the idea that, like, you can't actually break out of that and that this is life now, that the fucking depression that you're experiencing, that the anxiety that you're experiencing, that like this in the drama and all this shit, that like this is your life. And it can be hard to understand that this is a fuck, like this is a simulation. Like, come on, this shit's not real. I'm just out here like enjoying my life now, man. I'm just out here enjoying my fucking life now. And what it, it, and what it took for me to enjoy my life was for me to do these things that didn't feel easy going up to that first fucking girl at you know in, in the background of this video right now let me move my head you guys see that you guys can see that that's a macy's right there okay shout out to macy's all right macy's is one of the first places i remember doing a day game cold approach and i remember it because one of my first wings like we had just started going out to take day game seriously um i used to think day game was creepy i used to think like you know, guys that fucking, you know, were going out and doing day game, like they just like weren't cool enough to be out in clubs and shit. That was kind of like my thought of it. And I remember my, my dude, one of my first wings, he sent me into the makeup counter at Macy's. He forced me to go up and talk to this woman. I go up and start talking to her. She's kind of like scared because I'm so fucking shaky. I'm just like, I think that you're fucking sexy or fucking bod. You want to like, can I get your number? I'll take you out of fuck. Like, she's scared. I'm scared. It's horrible. But I look at all of those little fucking moments where back in, back before I knew about pickup, before I ever did pick up, if you would have said like, yo, go get that girl's number. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what do you mean? I don't know her. We're not friends. Why would she give me her phone number? 
I was just living in a life of depression and anxiety. And what I realized is that just not giving a fuck about anybody or anything and just fucking plowing forward and doing the things that you want to do, that's the key to happiness. And that's the key of escaping this fucking vacuum of depression and anxiety. Escape the vacuum of depression and anxiety. Go out, do the things that you want to do. Fucking just jump around, dude. Like, just fucking, like, go crazy. Like, just be fucking weird, dude. Like, that's what, that's what is, that is one of the biggest fucking things that I could tell you in this video right now, okay? I'm kind of all over the place with this fucking rant, but one of the biggest things I could tell you in this rant right fucking now is, like, just be crazy and fucking weird. Like, when I'm out doing night game and shit, I'm being fucking nuts, bro. Like, the other night I was, like, swaddling this girl pretending she was my baby because she weighed, like, 90 pounds. Like, this little, like, fucking Latina chick. Like, just being fucking nuts. And everyone's watching and everyone's laughing. And then I, like, proposed her. And it's, like, there's some, there's definitely some drunk guy standing there with a beer that's, like, Oh, look at this fucking faggot. What you, look at him. Because I had like a fucking whole crowd full of people's like attention, right? And it's like, I look back again at my fucking past. And if you would have told me to do that, I'd be like, what the fuck? And then like, all these people are going to watch me? What do you, like, what do you mean? I, I'm not going to go fucking, yeah. And I wouldn't have done anything like that. And now it's like freeing. It's fun. It's crazy just to put yourself out there. Put yourself out there. Do nutty things. Go wild. Do the things in your life that you want to fucking do, okay? Just fucking live. Escape this depression. Escape this anxiety. Escape the vacuum of depression and anxiety. Embrace life for what it is. Enjoy the fuck out of this thing, bro. You're going to be dead soon. I'm going to be dead as fuck soon. And I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Three, four years ago, if I would have died, I would have been laying there like, fuck, God, no. Now if I die, I'll be like pissed and it's over because I'm enjoying it so much. But I'll be like, bro, you fucking live, dude. And so if you're going to die anytime soon, God forbid, I want you to be like, yo, I fucking live, dude. Not nah, I waited around. Not nah, I fucking put this shit off forever. Not nah, I fucking just lived inside of my fucking comfort zone forever under my nice warm blanket with my fucking warm milk and my Fortnite. Just live life. Escape the vacuum of depression and anxiety.